Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis, we find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Portugal against Brazil. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Bruno Fernandes. Diogo Dallo. And running it back. Here's how it looks for Portugal. Bernardo Silva plays alongside Ruben Neves in the centre of midfield. And the focal point in attack today is Cristiano Ronaldo. Plenty of support here. Really important piece of last-ditch defending. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson gets the nod in goal. Marquinhos plays alongside Thiago Silva in central defence. Lucas Paqueta starts with Casemiro in the centre of the pitch. And the striker is the very creative and eye-catching Richarlison. Well, we're rightly focusing on Bernardo Silva, who can be a formidable presence in midfield. What kind of qualities do you think he'll bring to this game, Stuart? Well, the best players can play in tight areas, and he can certainly play in tight areas, in and around the box. His creativity is excellent. Playing little one-twos, balls around the corner, linking up with other teammates, just to have that little bit of penetration. He's going to be key to breaking down this defence. He read the situation defensively and did his job. Well, it's been a long and winding road to the final for Portugal. It's worth remembering that they finished second in the qualifying group. They had to go through playoff matches against Turkey and North Macedonia just to get to the 2022 finals. And this past month has been challenging as well, but they're here and they have a well-earned track record as winners. Well, you're absolutely right, but I think they've got better and better as the tournament has worn on. They've got a great understanding of what's required of each player on the pitch. They're good tactically, they've been fit, and I think they've got every chance of being the world champions here, but they're going to have to play well. Has a go, and the keeper able to hold on to it. And after that fantastic effort, it's gone out for a throw-in. Read it well. Guerrero. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Diogo Dallo. Pepe. Bruno Fernandes has it. Joao Felix. Felix. Lead to the goal that puts them ahead, and there it is! Living history! The opening goal of the 2022 World Cup final! Incredible celebrations! Well, it's great awareness of space in the box, and then he shows a lot of composure with the finish. That's a clever goal. And the ball moving again. What sort of response will we see from them now? Fernandes. Guerrero. Ronaldo. Well, not hard to read that pass. Neymar. Now, who can he play it to? Casimiro. 
Well, the power was there. Not really the placement, however. Goal kick. Guerrero. Silva. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Well, not quite what he wanted to do with the pass. Brazil now in a potentially dangerous position. This could square the game. Oh, the equaliser! Just what they needed, and the dream remains very much alive. Well, here's the replay and confirmation that he did get a touch on the ball. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough to prevent the goal. Back underway, level pegging, one goal apiece in this game. Diogo Dallo. He's given it straight to the opposition. Brazil moving the ball forward, what can they do from here? Really vital interception. Plenty of support here. Can he finish this? And the ball is loose. Oh, it comes to nothing in the end. Really should have made more of that. Well, I still don't know how he kept that out, Derek. It's a fantastic save to keep it all square. Ruben Neves. Diogo Dallo on the ball. Useful looking ball. And there it is! They take command in the final. And just look at the celebrations here. Well, here we can see it again. It's a lovely ball in behind, perfectly timed, and it's a top-class finish from João Felix. He just hits it with such power. That's a brilliant goal. And Brazil get the ball rolling once more. How will they react to the setback? Richarlison oh he looks threatening the keeper was never likely to be in trouble then one minute of stoppage time has been added on and unable to keep possession Rafinha now Eder Militao and space to cross it Richarlison, Richarlison! And that's fantastic goalkeeping to get across and deal with the danger. And over comes the corner. Well, clattered away. So, the whistle then. We're up the halfway stage in this match. Second half is underway. Brazil behind. Can they turn this match on its head? This looks interesting. It. 
and taken short and whipped into the box not all that convincing defensively Vinicius oh could be vital intervention and it went sailing over the crossbar not a moment he'll want to remember Diogo Dallo is with Ruben Neves Joao Felix they've regained possession Vinicius Junior Neymar and Brazil in a position of menace but quick thinking defensively Guerrero Well, Brazil have been in complete control over the last 15 minutes. And some of their players... Been oh, hang on, Stuart, look at this! And the keeper getting across to stop it. Well, they fancy a short one. And crossed in the direction of the back post. And a time for calm on the ball. This might be ideal for the counter. Fernandes. Opportunity. And denied by the keeper. Impressive. Over it comes. Well, a bit short with the clearance. Well, they can bring it out now. And so 30 minutes left for play in this one. Oh, a nice looking pass. Oh, good hands there from the keeper. Diogo Dallo. The ball with Pepe. Guerrero. Cristiano Ronaldo. And Portugal moving the ball forward. What can they do from here? Cross fired over. Well, still an issue here. Safe pair of hands. Did his job. Thiago Silva. Here's Marquinhos. Neymar. Paqueta. Here's Rafinha. Return to Paqueta. Oh, good vision. Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And the movement is good, making for a comfortable finish. It's a really great goal. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Ottavio. And into the last 20 minutes. Guerrero. Oh, really sound goalkeeping. Well, that's such a good save, isn't it? How did he keep that one out? have elected to go to the bench at this stage of the game can he deliver it with accuracy not quite the accuracy he was looking for that'll be a goal kick Neymar in behind for him to chase. And it's through here. It's opened up for him. And the keeper's hand does the trick. Diesch. Otavio. And as a defender, you really have to concentrate to the maximum to bar the door as he did then. 
Can they take the lead? Oh, it's in! They're in front here! Now can they stay in front? Well, you have to ask, where's the defending? The keeper is completely exposed, but he still had to finish it, and he did it really well. It's a good goal. A big moment in the dying embers. Will it prove decisive here? Guerrero. On the ball, Ruben Diaz. And scope for them to produce something exciting. Guerrero. Bruno Fernandes. Oh, what an opportunity. A goal! And that is going to be that name on the trophy for certain. Well, here we can see it again, and it's all about the pace of the passing. One touch, slick movement, and this is Ronaldo at his best. He's composed, he shows great technique, and he just smashes it beyond the keeper. So the current scoreline, 4-2. And he stopped them in their tracks. Vinicius Jr. Crossing opportunity. Casimiro. On to Richarlison. Magnip could be. And a goal to tighten things up. They've thrown themselves a lifeline. Well, as you can see, he doesn't mess about here, does he? He's strong, well-balanced and skillful. That's a top-class finish. Well, how about this? 4-3. Well, by playing keep ball like this, they're keeping the opposition at bay. Otavio. And since they have the ball, the referee playing advantage here. Well, we are going to have a decent amount of stoppage time. Three minutes to be exact. Well, that's a pass of high quality. Well, he wasn't going to waste this chance. 1v1 against the keeper, and he slots it away with great confidence. That's a good finish. Not a scoreline we see all that often. 5-3. Number seven, Cristiano. Fabinho. Fine cross into the middle. Well, able to survive. And now it's all over. We've witnessed history. Portugal have won the World Cup for the first time. Well, they've been kings of Europe. Now they're kings of the world. And I have to say, Derek, they fully deserved it. They were great today.
Portugal, the world champions. And this is finally Portugal's time, fully deserved, best team in the world. Well, you have to give credit to the coach. He's been excellent, but so too the players and these fans. It's absolutely magnificent for them.